What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Friday evening. Just got back from the Swordfish Club. And yes, uh, well, we won't discuss that here. But what we're going to discuss today is a lot of people have been asking me about what I thought about Scott Murray. Uh, you know, I've been watching this kid for about a year or so. And, you know, all of a sudden this person passed away. Uh, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not surprised. And I've warned people, uh, numerous times about, uh, you know, what people like Scott were doing there. And it's the same as ZYZZ. Uh, if you guys remember him about 12 years ago, uh, he pretty much did the same things that, uh, Scott Murray actually did. Uh, so this is just actually a repeat, but there's two specific things that I think that led to his death there. And I'm just generally making educated guesses. This is not the same as the video I made upon the Ukraine, because as a former bodybuilder and a fitness expert, you know, I have uh, experience as far as discussing this. So here's the two things that actually kept, that I believe that actually caused his death. Number one is that Scott, when watching his videos, he trained every single day. He only slept for four hours. He did about two hours of cardio. He was working out hours on end for years. And it's very important uh, in any type of fitness and bodybuilding that you have to give your body a chance to recover. Okay, that means plenty of sleep, uh, you know, you should only work out maybe four or five days a week. You got to give your body a chance to rest and relax there, you know. And what Scott was doing there was extreme training. Now, uh, Bradley Martin and Greg Doucette and other people have encouraged him, you know, and stuff like that. And I have to find myself guilty of that. Uh, when people have asked me about training, I tell them, to outwork, overcome, and adapt. You know, that's just a military train uh, mindset there. Uh, if you've ever been in the military, such as myself, or been in law enforcement, such as myself, that's our mindset. You have to adapt and overcome, you know. Uh, and I think uh, Scott Murray went and took it too far. You know, again, you're training every single day for years. You're doing hours of cardio and hours of training, and you're only getting like four hours of sleep there. You know, that's not a good combination, which leads me to my next thing. You see, Scott, in order to keep up this rigorous schedule, that being uh, working out every single day, a couple hours of sleep, and, you know, doing hours of training, is that he depended reliably on pre-workout drinks and other stimulants. And, you know, Sean Ray commented about this years ago and he warned people about overdoing these types of supplements here. You know, just because something is legal, just because something it's something that you can buy from a fitness store or drug store or anything like that, doesn't mean it's safe. I mean, there was a guy Last, uh, I think a couple of days ago, he passed away from, uh, he didn't measure his caffeine powder correctly. And caffeine generally is a safe supplement there, you know, when you have a cup of coffee and everything like that. But he just missed his mark and he took the equivalent of 200 uh, cups of coffee there. You know, even water will kill you there. If you drink too much water, water will kill you. Scott Murray... You know, in order to keep up his rigorous schedules, he took a number of pre-workout stimulants and everything just to keep it up there, you know. Now, there's no telling as far as to how much he was taking, but it was clear he was taking a lot, though, you know. And stuff like that is just not good for the heart. It's not good for the body itself there, you know. In fact, uh, there's been a couple of cases where people had... Uh, liver and kidney diseases there and they've ended up on dialysis or just as Scott did, you know, you know, they've, it's actually caused death. Now, I'm not saying that this 
was the cause of Scott Murray's death or so forth. But I'm saying that it, I'm just taking an educated guess that this had a factor, and this is based upon watching all of his videos. Like I said, he had an awesome physique there. I like the guy, you know, and, uh, you know, I subscribe to a number of channels. I, you know, Scott was a good guy, you know, and everything. But at the same time, I felt that he was kind of reckless as far as to what he was doing there, you know. And I think a lot of people who encouraged him, you know, that also factors in. And folks, you can't work out every day. You can't do cardio hour in training hours and hours on end. And you can't just get little sleep there, okay? You're not Donald Trump or anything. Donald Trump only gets four hours of sleep, but he doesn't freaking do anything. He doesn't exercise. You have to give the body time to recover, okay? You got to give your body time to recover. You can't work out every single day. And it really wouldn't have made a difference for Scott there, really. You know, he still would have kept the same physique there. In fact, this physique would have been much better if he actually recovered, give the body time to build muscle mass there, you know. And then taking these extra stimulus and stuff, that definitely wasn't good for his health there. So, uh, rest in peace, Scott. You know, I certainly hope people who tune into this video uh, understand and hopefully they don't make the same. And like I said, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what killed him or so forth. I'm just basing it upon the videos itself. But I believe I'm kind of accurate as far as to what happened to him. But ultimately, whatever, you know, just take my advice as a whole, whether he had passed, you know, passed away because of that or not. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest between exercising. Don't go and overdo it. And don't overgo and do uh, nutritional supplements and especially pre-workouts. While these items are legal, you can get them from a drugstore, they can kill you if you take too much of it. You know, too much of one thing will kill you. Water, caffeine, pre-workout supplements, vitamins. You take too much of it and you depend upon it for a long time, it, it's just going to, it, it's not going to bode well for you. You may not die from it, but again, you're not going to bode well from it. Okay. It's not a good thing. Take a break. You know, don't work out all the time. Give your body a chance to rest. That's all I got to say today, people. Take care.